Welcome back. It's still Metro File and one more award ceremony. This time, the Indokwa Daughters and Wives Association gathered for their fifth biennial award ceremony. And they all looked graceful and beautiful. The award ceremony recognized and honored some prominent men and women who have distinguished themselves in the oil producing Indokwa community. Enjoy it. These beautiful and gaily dressed women under the auspices of the Ndokwa Daughters and Wives Association have gathered for their fifth biennial awards ceremony. It's a celebration of personalities that have distinguished themselves in the oil producing Ndokwa community. The Ndokwa community consists of three local government areas in the northern part of Delta State, South South Nigeria. The chairman of this year's event, Sir Ken Okulubo, got the ceremony going. He charged everyone to support projects earmarked by the Ndokwa women, one of which is the building of a multi-purpose center to cater to the developmental needs of the Ndokwa girls and women. We are not only celebrating the Ndokwa Daughters and Wives Association, we want to put the building which we came here two years ago together into a final completion and it will, be, it will be very sad if we come here in 2017 and we'll be still talking about that building. I wouldn't want us to be talking about that building, we should be talking about any, another project by that time. <laughs> of girls and boys of Ndokwa at all levels, the stimulation of public interest in women and children's affairs in Nigeria with particular focus on the Ndokwa area, engagement in the economic development and social welfare of Ndokwa people, paying particular attention to the empowerment of women through skill acquisition, funding, and other opportunities provided by donor agencies and governments. The awards ceremony recognized and honored some prominent men and women who have distinguished themselves in the area of community development, who have conducted themselves in a manner worthy of emulation. Some of the awardees include Chief P.U. Onyelukwe, Barrister Benedicto Osakuni and a few others. to be the bedrock of any nation. So women play an important role in the all building of any nation. And so if these women are not properly trained, they will lose focus. They will not be useful. So what these women are doing today, our women from Ndokwa Nation are doing today, is to put the woman on a focus point. Make sure that the women gain some form of entrepreneurship skill that we aid them in their journey in their quest to empower the women of Ndokwa, the association is optimistic that before its next awards ceremony in two years, the multipurpose center would be functional and would have touched lives positively. What we want women to do is that they shouldn't sit on their oars. They should rise up and give back to the society. 
And how do you give back? By helping to educate not just the less privileged, those that have from any source, especially from our local governments, the three local governments, train them up to whatever level that they are able to achieve. And then also empower the women so that they can stand on their own. At this point in time, women cannot leave everything to their husbands. They have to assist. And by assisting, they have to contribute their own quota to the society through these different activities. Like we are putting up uh, the center uh, for women, for training women in all different arts. And we, are, we, are, we, are, we strongly believe that this time around, that center will stand up. If every ethnic nationality does what the Ndokwa Daughters of White Association are doing, then we don't have to depend so much on government, especially now that we know our resources are dwindling. We can actually empower people through selfless services like the Ndokwa Daughters of White Association are carrying out. And then people will have a sense of belonging and can also be employed without necessarily thinking that they must go into the civil service or wait for the government. And as these women party in celebration of having successfully hosted another awards ceremony, some Nigerians will do well to learn a thing or two from them about adding value to the society.